Welcome to Too Easy to Learn. Numbers. Today we will discuss in this lesson the highest common factor. Can you tell me the relationship among these numbers inside and outside the circles? If you know the answers, write your answer in comment box. By the end of this lesson, students will be able to define the highest common factor, use different methods to find the SCF, and apply the knowledge of SCF to solve exam questions. Let's start our lesson. Do you know what is a factor and what is a prime factor? Can you tell me prime factors of 12? Write your answer in comment box. Highest common factor. The highest common factor of two or more numbers is the largest number that divides all the numbers without leaving remainders. For example, HCF of 12 and 15 is 3. There are three methods to find the HCF. Number one, listing factors. Number two, division method. Number three, prime factorization. Let's discuss this method one by one. Listing factor methods, for example, we want to calculate the HCF of 18 and 24. List all factors of each number. For example, factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18. And factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. Identify the common factors. So 1, 2, 3 and 6 are common factors of these two numbers. And which one is the largest common factor? Is the 6 is the largest common factor. That's why HCF of 18 and 24 is 6. Division method. For example, we want to calculate the HCF of 56 and 98. We will use division method. Divide the given numbers by smallest common prime frame factors. Continue dividing until there are no common factors left. First think which is the smallest common factor, prime common factors which divides 56 and 98. 2 is the smallest prime factors which can divide both numbers. So we will get of the division 28 and 49. 28 is divisible by 2 but 49, 49 is not. So 3 don't divide both numbers. 5 don't divide both numbers. There is a 7 which divide both numbers. And after division by 7 we will get 4 and 7. So there are no there is no other number which can divide the common number the common factor which can divide both 4 and 7. So we will stop our division here. So HCF of both number 56 and 98 is the product of these two numbers, these two common prime factors. So HCF is 2 times 7 and final answer is 14. This is the division method. Let's discuss prime factorization methods. In this method, the number are provided in index notation of their prime factors. For example, find the HCF of this number and this number. Both numbers are given in index notation of prime factors. When we are going to find the HCF of these two numbers, we will select only common factor with the smallest power. Let's see how to find it. The common factor is 2, 3, 5. 7 is not common factor. We will select only common factor with the smallest power. And the 2 is a common factor, the smallest power is 3, so 2 cube, 3 square, and 5 square. So once again, when we are using index notation method, we will select only common factor with least power. Let's discuss exam question. Ali wants to cover a floor measuring 90 cm by 120 cm 
with square tile of same size. Find the largest possible length of each tile and part B, the number of tiles that are needed to cover the floors. So first we need to find the largest possible length of each tile. For example, we have this floor of 90 cm by 120 cm. So we need a common number which can divide both 90 and 120 without remainder because we need a whole tile. There should not be any remainder. So that number should be the largest numbers. Therefore, we have to calculate the HCF of 90 and 120. For example, the length of the tile is x centimeter. We will use division method that is more preferable for this question. So we will find the smallest prime factor which can divide the both 90 and 120. So 2 can divide the both number 90 and 120. We will get 45 and 60. 2 cannot divide the both number 45. 2 cannot divide the 45. We will think the next number. And 3 is the prime factor which can divide the both. 15 and 20. 3 cannot divide 20. That's why we will think next number and that will be 5. 5 will divide both 15 and 20 and we will get 3 and 4. So there is no common prime factor which divide 3 and 4. We will stop division here. So these 3 numbers 2 times 3 times 5 is the HCF. So HCF of these two numbers 90 and 120 is 30 and this is the largest length of the tile which can be which can divide both number evenly. So largest length is 30 centimeter. Now we want to calculate the number of tiles that needed to cover the floor. So length of the tile is 30 centimeter width is 30 centimeter. So because it is a square tile. So number of tiles is equal to area floor divided area of tile. So area floor 90 centimeter by 120 centimeter and area of tile is 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter. So we will divide both areas and we will get 12 tiles. So number of tiles to cover this floor without any remainder are the 12 tiles. Home task. Question number one, and there are the division method, prime factorization method. Apply HCF method to solve question number two. Learn by heart, dear students. You must memorize the definition of highest common factor, and you must also learn three different methods, resting factor, division method and prime factorization. And the note is HCF is only common factor with the least power. You can check this method also here. The factors of 60, 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 and factors of 72, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 and we have to select only common factor. So 2 is common. 2 is common, 3 is common, this 2 is uncommon, this is not common, 5 is not common, we will not write these 3 yellow circles. So the HCF of 60 and 72 is 12.